Good morning, got a new cutie to share with you today. You'll have seen on the thumbnail approximately what she's like, but we're going to have a good look at her properly. So if there's something you were thinking about buying, perhaps it will help along the way. So this is the box. Now it's going to be a bit high. She's a little bit taller. Now she's not as tall as my smart dolls, but she is a quarter scale doll, which isn't a height I've got. So that was a new thing for me. Now, the reason I went for this doll, she is an AliExpress doll. A few years ago, we went to a comic convention and somebody was selling these dolls and I saw them and I thought, oh, they're super cute. And I was so, so, so tempted. But the price well, I thought was OK compared with some of the other dolls I got. I didn't know what she was. Um, it was, I think it was about £110, or around £100 anyway. Um, but I decided I didn't really want to spend that sort of money at that time. I've not got that money spare. So I thought I'll just take note of who she is and have a look around. Well, when I did look around, I found her on AliExpress. She's a dream fairy doll, although this box doesn't say that. So I'm a little bit confused. Um, there is a company dream fairy on AliExpress, but I actually bought her from Blythe Homes because I've bought from them before, but they were also cheaper. But then I'm like, oh, is it the legit thing? In here it is. This is not what she looks like. This is not the doll at all. Uh, you'll have seen from the thumbnail who it is. Um, but I thought perhaps you'd like to have a look. She cost a lot, lot less. I think it was, I think it was about 43 I paid. Uh, which is a massive drop from about 100, isn't it? So I was really, really over the moon with it. And I really love her. I'm very tempted at some point to get another one because they do all sorts of different designs and shapes and things. I will pop a link for the place I bought this from and I'll also pop a link for the other company that actually makes them. So shall we go top down and have a look what's in my box? I'm really excited to get in this actually. I've had a peek, of course I've had a peek. I had to check she was okay because as you can see, um, I think somebody likes sitting or kicking, sitting on or kicking my boxes when I get them delivered because it is a little bit damaged, but the doll is okay and I wouldn't be keeping this box anyway. So let's go top down and have a look what this cutie's got to offer. So here is my new girl. Now, I can't actually see the camera today. I've tried to make it higher because she's so tall. I've got to try and fit her in. As I say, she's not as tall as a smart doll. And the box, it does say quarter scale. Uh, just says ball jointed doll. Mm, I'm sure there are a lot of people out there will argue how much she's ball jointed. But it is seems to be a term they're using for lots of different dolls. So as I said, this is not what is in the box. It says match girl there. Um, not suitable for under three. Fair enough. It just says special for you on the side. On the back, there is a little bit of information. It does say product name, ball jointed doll. What she's made of, which is ABS. PVC PA, not sure what some of that is, and it does recommend that the age is actually eight years and up, which I get because there's small parts in there. Obviously, they've got it in every other language, which is great. Well, not every other language, but it's got a few languages there, which is always good. And just as choking hazard, obviously, so it's the same thing as not suitable for under three, etc. And it just says special for you. So the box, as I said, not gonna keep because it doesn't show which doll it is anyway, so there's not much point, is there? So let's get in. I have, as I've said, opened it partially already. Now, if I can get her out there, so I'm having a fight now. It's caught. It's caught. It's the wires on the back that have caught. These are what she was held in with. Um, but not much more, to be honest. Um, it was just a basic cardboard box, that. So onto the floor you go. Um, I'm just trying to look on my camera. In fact, let me have a look on my camera. Am I in the right direction? I am. It's weird, I normally have it lower to me, but I keep knocking it, so I've put it higher up on a shelf so it sort of hangs over. So I'm hoping that's going to be okay. And here she is. What a cutie she is. As I said, there was like three of well, these, basically, that were holding her in place. So I took them out anyway because I thought it was easier. You don't need to see me having a fight with a piece of wire. So that is the doll. There's some details. And here is some very, very cute accessories. So there's another box out of the way. So we need to have a quick look at what this is. Uh, this is all written in Chinese, but it does give you an idea of some of the dolls. Um, there's some of them I'm not sure. 
I can never make up my mind. Can you see this face where they're doing like a little ooh sort of look? I'm never sure about those. Um, and that is why I didn't go for one straight away. They all do seem to have that on there. But on the site, from what I can see is there is sort of like a first skip, first range, second range. You know what I mean? Sort of um, like they do with everything. So there are different face shapes now, but they are cute, aren't they? They are super cute. Uh, let's have a look. Let's see if the quality is there. As you can see, she's got this gorgeous outfit on, which needs a little bit of fluffing up. Fair enough. But there's lots of layers. But I'm sure we want to have a look at her face first. Now, there is a net over this. So let me have a fight in trying to get the net out. So we can see she has this blonde hair. It is actually a wig, so we will take it off. Let's take it off. So we have a wig there. She's got a little sort of rubber wig, wig cap, which is quite handy. Sometimes wigs can be a pain to get on and off because you can, can you hear the type of plastic it is? So yeah, it is plastic. This is why it is cheaper um, because some obviously you either get your resin dolls or it's like my smart dolls are made of a different sort of uh, plastic. But whereas this is sort of, a little bit sort of hollowy sound now let's have a look at the wig itself it's not a bad condition it's been a bit squashed it doesn't feel grubby it doesn't feel sticky it needs a brush it needs a tidy up because obviously she's just been in the box for a while but apart from that the wig is sort of same old same old basically in fact i am actually wondering whether i can pinch her wig i want to do a it's a cosplay outfit for my smart doll at some point if my son gets what he wants to get done because then the doll will match and I do actually need a doll with a blonde doll with ponytails that might actually work but it might not I might not take it off so we'll put the wig to one side and we'll move her a little bit more central to the camera because I'm trying to keep it in there and let's have a look at those eyes just look at those eyes I think I'm gonna lose my voice <clears throat> excuse me there is a little design. I'm trying to even see what it is myself. Is it a little paw print? Do you think that's a little paw print in her eyes? I think it might be. But she does have a cute little face. And I like this sort of shape sort of for the mouth. That is why I went for this. The actual paintwork on her face is quite similar to any other doll that you can get in these sort of ranges. So there's nothing on the back there. Head movement is limited. I do like a little bit more movement. That's just... It's moving. It is moving, but it's not like, you know, go click, click, you know, holding to place. It sort of moves about, should I say. We do get a little bit of forward and back movement, but but nothing, nothing major. But that's okay. She was just dropped off as well now. So, oh, dear me, now she's got concussion, bless her. You could hear the plastic difference. If that had been one of my smart dolls, you would have like, it would have been sort of like a noise like that. Whereas this... So I think you might have to be careful with these. I wouldn't sort of, look, can you see actually? But I suppose if people want to change the eyes, the head does, does split. Oh, in fact, shall we take it apart? We'll take it apart. I might regret doing this. Yep. Can you see? There is inside her head. And doesn't that look incredibly creepy? Um, I presume this is part of the sort of structure of holding it together, which is a bit weird. And that's the eye plate there and they would say they're magnets they might be magnets i'm not yeah that feels like that's magnetic so it's magnetic goes back on so that's easy enough and i'm doing it again i'm gonna have to put something down for her. the poor thing's gonna have a right concussion her shoes have already dropped off so shall we have a look at them they are super cute i mean look at that they are nicely made again maybe not the top end of shoe making but they're nice they they're neat they're tidy um you can see there again you can hear the type of plastic that it is but they are cute and like i said beautifully sort of put in there's no sort of lumps and bumps or anything nice little red satin so that's, that's still nice her feet hmm i'm just having a look i think her feet, her feet are wider than a smart dolls but they're roughly the same depth so a lot of those shoes you can get out there you would probably be able to do that so oh, i really don't know where to start because she's got so many layers on here so as you can see we have where shall we start i don't know we have a cape now the cape is held on with a hook and eye that's what it looks like that's a hook and eye it is a hook and eye come on hook and eye get out it's quite a tight hook and eye i'm a bit worried about pulling that 
it's you know the actual hook bit it looks like it's been squashed together so i'm just having a little fight with it a minute and i'm going to turn around so you'll be able to see her feet if nothing else while i'm doing this because i need it a little bit closer to my face come on it is quite tough actually in some respects it's good that it's tight um because it means it's well attached but in other respects it's an absolute pain because I might end up breaking it to try and get it open. I need to get this cape off. We need to get this cape off. All right, I'm going to pause this, guys, and I'm going to get the cape off and then come back. I don't know why it's like this. I think I need a pair of pliers. I'll see you in a second. Right, well, the cape is off, but I did have to cut where the, the actual stitching was, which was a little bit annoying. I'll show you that if you can see close up um you can see there's this hook and eye here but it is i don't know i don't know how it's been sewn on it's like it's been sewn on in the wrong place to be honest like the threads in the wrong place but it's not damaged anything so i'm just going to cut that off put a new hook and eye on that's not going to take much but this little cape is rather lovely i mean look at this let's lay it out let's move you over there missus we'll lay the cape out it is a purple it's a very deep purple color you can see how big it is there the little bit of lace around the edge is nice it's got like a satiny sort of finish i, I think the fabric is that it's not that it's lined that is just what the inside of the fabric is like so we have cream here we have some gold braid here we have a little bit of detail which is always nice so we have a little heart charm and ribbon there and on this side it's sort of like a badge almost isn't it like a medal and that is just clipped on so if you wanted to take that off uh, maybe use it for something else it would come off easy enough it is just literally like um pardon think of the word a pin badge that's the word so it is nice and i do like it and i do like the fact look i mean that looks quite plush doesn't it that does look quite nice um and it is nicely finished as i say it's not double lined or anything but you can't expect that for the brides anyway so i'll put that one to one side because these could be used for other dolls and let's bring my missus in and try not to smack her head on the table. This little dress is just super cute and I think it comes in layers. But just to show it before I start taking it apart, we've got little buttons, we've got this little cross here. It's weird because as you'll see in a minute, she's got like bunny ears, but it was sort of classed as like a Halloween-y thing. I'm not quite sure why. But there's lots of sort of work and details and bits and bobs on the dress. This is two layers because it's like a net layer over an actual fabric cotton. So I think it is. Anyway, don't, it might be all in one. Let's have a look. So this is a pinafore dress. No, it's not. This is a top section. And then, this, wow, this is a complicated doll. This is a complicated doll. It's in lots and lots and lots of sections. This is like a little bodice. So you can have a little look at the bodice. That is really cute. You can see how it's made inside. And again, pretty well made actually you know there's no sort of fraying bits and it looks like it's got like a stiffener which will also protect the doll as well because it's a white stiffener and this is like a blue a blue satin i suppose but yeah that's pretty that is pretty so what we got down to now i think this is the whole dress which looks like a real pretty little blouse with little bows and different colours, we've got lilac, we've got this lovely cotton, I love this cotton that the uh, actual blouse part's made out of, and the dress is attached, it is stitched here, so shall we try, I'll put you down carefully, I hope that's not what I've just done to her head, <laughs> she's got a bruise, right let's get this velcro undone carefully because there's more layers, so come on missus arms out and let's have a look because people want to know what the body structure is like in case they want to buy one because it was an unusual one to me i mean some of you may have already got these i mean let me know if you have or which one you've got whether you've had any problems with them or anything because if other people are thinking about it it helps them too so perhaps i should have taken the underskirt off first but we will we can't now we're halfway there we've got a little tiny underskirt there and this is the dress. So there was that top layer I was talking about. Then we have this net layer here, which is really pretty. It's a baby pink with little tiny weeny gold sort of flecks all over it, which sort of comes across. Yeah, I think that is lovely. It's sort of quite sort of Victoriana sort of. 
like I say, why they cast it as sort of more Halloween-y, I don't know, because I would have just said it was more sort of Easter-y, but, you know, each to their own. So that's the dress, which is absolutely gorgeous. Really love that. So many layers. So she has a little basic net underskirt, and that is all it is. It's a basic little net, two-layered underskirt. But it does its job because it really holds the dress out. Because it's oh, I'm doing it again. This poor doll. Should I put something under her head? Because it's making me cringe every time I make the noise. Yeah, that's better. We'll put that under. <laughs> right. She has a little pair of knickers, which is nice because you don't normally get that with cheaper dolls, do you? So she does have some underwear. Again, very basic, nothing special. And then these cute little stockings. I mean, how nice are they? Again very nicely made so we will take them off because you want to have a look don't you what the joints are like they come off easy enough do we have a look at them again the seams are beautiful it's neat there's nothing wrong at all with these little stockings now looking at the actual joints there are quite a lot now you can see there's like a little circle here these are hinged i would say again they say ball jointed mm, as yeah that's uh, doubtful most people would think it says dbs on the back is that the type of plastic i don't know what dbs means uh so let's have a look so we'd already decided the head there wasn't a lot of movement but we do have a tiny weeny bit of sort of twist and movement here let me double check you can see that okay the arms that's quite a nice movement there i've got a bit of fluff there um the elbow bends nicely it's not a massive bend, but it is. This is where I think, can you see how you've got this? This is where we start talking easy to ball jointed doll because there's a ball and it's jointed, but she's not strong. I think that is the difference. So we've got a nice bend there. So we can obviously, you know, she's not struggling to touch her face, but she can touch her head. And the hand even has a tiny, look at that. Can we see that at a better angle? Look, we do have a little bit of movement on the hand so she can get a little bit of expression in there, which I do like. I love how chubby these little fingers are. To be honest, her feet and the hands, the way she's sort of quite sort of chubby in those areas, reminds me of my Kiki Pop a little bit because she's a small doll, but then she has these massive hands and feet and I think they're super cute. So yeah, the arms have got quite a bit of movement there. And yeah, I love the way the hands can splay out. Now, I don't think these are the sort of hands you can replace, so I think you would have to be careful with them. I don't think they sort of pull out or anything, but my dolls are on display, so it's not really a problem. Leg movement. I always like this one because you can angle the leg. The only thing is it does sort of stick out, but if she's dressed, you're not going to see that. So there's quite a bit of movement there. Out quite a bit. In fact, let's see. Let's see if she nearly does the splits not quite so sideways is good back ah we have no back movement because can you see her bottom stops any movement it stops there there isn't no way you can take it back so but forward we have a good 90 degrees which is great for sitting so you can sit her down nicely. I think it's always great if you can sit a doll on a chair or something like that. So that's that's okay. That's fine. So the knees, as you saw it from there, there is quite a bend, but that is what it looks like on the back. Oh, look how it goes. Look at that. Can you see how? I don't know how well you're going to see that. I'm going to try and move it so you can sort of see how the mechanism works. That's weird. I've not seen one like that before. It's like one part stays still. So the other one do the same. Yeah, it does. Like one part stays still and the other part bends. Very strange. But it looks okay. It's neat enough. I don't like them when they're sort of too ugly when they've got places like that. And yeah, it looks quite nice from the front. It gives her a sort of nice little smooth kneecap. Feet. Again, like the hands really. There's a bit of movement. Tiny bit of movement side to side. But we do get a little point of the foot. And a flex of the foot, which is also good. That one flexes more than that one. I think probably it depends on how they're actually sat in. So, movement's not bad. Like I said, there's no backwards movement, but everything else I think is there. And I would have liked a slightly more solid sort of head tilt. You can move it, but it's, it's nothing amazing. But that is 
my little dream fairy who is not a dream fairy as such uh, they've all got different names and i can't remember her name so but when i put the link on you'll be able to go and have a look at her so let me see if i can get her dressed easy enough so the little stockings i'm going to put on first so these are really nice quality actually and i love how they actually really do stay up the leg Let's get the other one on. Yeah, they stay quite nice. I think, you know, because that seam's there. You see that seam that it sort of like holds it above, which is really, really good. Right, I think the underskirt's actually going to go on afterwards because it goes underneath, doesn't it? So we'll put the little dress on. Then we need to have a look. She has a couple of accessories. Now, the arms don't come in far that way, so that's one you have to be careful with. That's going to be a bit of a, a pain dressing up. There's elastic on these cuffs, so that should be maybe not so <laughs> easy to get over. Oh, I'm having a fight over her hands. Come on, splayed fingers are a nightmare on dolls, are they not? That's why with some of them, when the hands come off, oh, it makes life so much easier. Right, oh, we got a little bend on the arm, didn't we, to get that one on? So that was okay. Right, come on. Let me squeeze it on. So I want to show everybody your accessories. So we need this dress on, or at least part of it on. Right, we're over one part. Get over that thumb. Because there's lots of lace as well. You've got to be careful not to catch it, haven't you? Right, it's on, it's on. Yeah, very nicely made clothes. Absolutely no worries about that at all. I'm not really going to take put any of the rest on. We'll do that after and I'll take photos, etc, etc. I just wanted to show you the couple of accessories. She has some little glasses. Because you'll see on the thumbnail or in a full outfit anyway. So you've already seen that bit. Well, these are the little glasses. They don't have lenses in them. Pros and cons there. Sometimes lenses are difficult to photograph, but they are they are sweet. They are quite nice. Let's see how they fit. Here in the middle there, Mrs. They're quite tight. Right. I, I mean, I would actually say. I mean, oh, look at that little face. Does she look that cute? I would say they are too big for her, but I think when the wig's on, it tucks into the wig. It helps hold it. But it's quite tight actually, so they hold quite nice and they're sweet. I really do like those. So that's her little glasses, which we'll take off now. I'm going to have to try and get her wig on now. Now, I've never seen a wig cap that's only partial like this. Although, to be honest, I don't really use any wig caps for my dolls because uh, on average, I seem to not have had a much problem. But, yep, so that's the little sort of wig cap. I suppose it holds the head together as well. And then, as I said, this does need a nice brush. If I take the photographs, let's see. So I usually hold mine at the front and then pull the elastic at the back. And yeah, that looks okay, doesn't it? She looks a little bit tousled. That's what my hair looked like yesterday in the wind. But it is holding quite nicely and it just does need, it's, like I say, it's super soft. It just needs a bit of a brush. And this is the other thing that attracted me to her look at this now the only complaint i do have it's not really a complaint it happens i know it does there's a bit of glue there and i don't like glue on things it is i would say glue gun glue so i need to just sort of sit and pick at it carefully but the hat is super cute Again, we've got these bunny ears. I'm always uh, sort of fond of bunny ears, etc. But then, of course, there's a playing card, which is like, is it? Is that plastic? No, it's actually like a little metal charm. Um, it sort of, sort of lends towards Alice because of the card, but they're not. And like I said, I don't know what they're classing her as. There's a little clip. We pop it on, if I can get it in her hair. And she has her hat on. Look at that. I am super pleased with her. I really, really am. I do need to tidy her up now. I need to get all the bits of clothes on and obviously her little shoes. Now, the shoes, let me move her up so you can see, just slide on nicely. Oh, and they actually sort of, they're, they're quite, quite solid on there. So that is quite good. Um, so yeah, I'm pleased. I think I would have another one. I really do. 
um I mean they, they are ornamental it's not something I would be sort of I don't I know it says not suitable for under a certain age but I think you would have to be careful if a child was playing with it I think you're likely to get a possible breakages maybe sort of around the head area or something like that um but if it's just sort of a collection I think she would be absolutely perfect as I said she measures at 40 centimeters as it said on the box um I wonder if I can do her sideways and pop a smart doll next to her Who's up there that I can grab quickly? We have Brie here. This is our smart doll. Their faces, to be honest, are very similar in size. Perhaps she's like the little sister or something like that. So you can see the difference. I mean, my smart doll's pretty tall. Her head's even off there. Um, that's why they're always difficult to, to actually film the smart dolls because they are so tall. But you can see the size difference there. I do suspect there is a few things they could share though. Should we see if this shoe fits? Let's see if we can Cinderella the smart doll. Oh, no. Smart doll's feet are too big. That's not going to happen. But you can see like the limbs are longer, etc, etc. But I do think they're quite cute. I mean, to be honest, that was probably the wrong smart doll to bring down. Let's have a look who we've got up here. Right, now this is my Mirai. She does actually have a broken arm at the moment, bless her. But I just wanted to sort of give you an idea of that sort of anime face look. So, you know, you can see, I mean, the other one, she's a semi-real, so she's not got that anime face. But these two have now got two little anime faces there. Head size. Let's see if I can make her a hat. Yes. Her head size is almost the same as our smart doll. In fact, I suspect it is the same. If I can take the wig off again and take Mirai's wig off, you can see Mirai's head's longer. But apart from that... It is bigger, but it's not massively bigger. So I could sort of make the little hats and things like that for her. Oh, my smart doll has just fallen on the floor. That is not good, is it? Come here, Mirai. My poor doll. She is, she's oh, seven years old now. And I unfortunately have dropped her. I'm just picking up her arm. Her arm's come off. Ah! Um, these do click together. Don't worry if this happens. You do just need to get them into position, though. That's the only thing. But Mariah had a problem with her arm pretty early on. And for some reason, yeah, I'm clumsy. You try taking photographs. She's fallen off walls, all sorts. But to be honest, she stayed together amazingly well. So, um, yeah, they are good dolls in that respect. But ideally, do not drop them off walls. But this is not what we're looking at. I was going to look at Mirai's wig as well. I got distracted then. Now, the wig will be slightly larger, so it should slide on easy enough. Oh, look. Actually, you know, I quite like her with that hair colour. What do you think? I do. I actually like her with a darker wig. I might end up pinching this one for cosplay and maybe getting her a darker one. Because I think that's a lovely colour. This is one of Mirai's uh, originals. As I said, Mirai is the original smart doll. So that's one of the original wigs. She's got the very original one. The one with the plaits and that, but that's kept away safely. So uh, I'll give that back to Mirai and I will sort her out. Bless her. She needs a little bit of help there. Uh, but that's the end of this video after that disaster. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. If it's something you're sort of thinking of getting, I hope it helps as well. Um, let me know if you've got one, as I mentioned earlier. I think that's about it. So thank you so much for watching. If you do enjoy my channel, please don't forget like subscribe and share and i do have my patreon as well if anyone's interested in sort of supporting that side of it and seeing some other videos too so thank you for watching and bye bye for now